Hello everyone and welcome back. It's me, the mayor of Millbrick. And I'm gonna be doing a part two of the Lego Collectible Minifigure Series 21. This will be my uh, attempt to get the last four minifigures. And then I will do a review of all of them from ranking 12 to one. Without further ado, here we go. And for the first minifigure, we have, I'm missing the, the Aztec Warrior, the Centaur, the Castaway figure, and the Space Police. So let's see which one the first one is. And it is the Aztec Warrior. If you remember from my first video, uh, I didn't do a very good job of choosing the figures, filling them in the bag, and I ended up getting some duplicates. But it looks like I may be on to something this time. Here's the Aztec Warrior's body. Lots of detail. Great on the back. All right. And then here's his face. He's got an angry face going there. And then he's dual molded. You can kind of get a look at his face there. Here's his headdress, a lion's head. And I think that I'm going to use this guy in my museum that I'm going to be mocking coming sometime in the near future. No promises on when that's going to happen, but that's one of my goals. My goal is to have a, a museum, kind of like the Night at the Museum, a Museum of Natural History or something to that effect. And here is his weapon. Looks like it probably would have been wooden at the time. You know, going back to the Aztec times, they probably didn't have a lot of uh, metal weapons at that at that point in time. Almost looks like a club. But yeah, there we go. This is the Aztec warrior, and I needed him. So there he is. Oh. I almost forgot. And his shield. Look at that. Now that is one cool looking shield. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. So let's put that in his hand. That's a that's a nice looking figure. That kind of explains why I couldn't find him. Everyone probably already had gone through the bags and picked them out. Here's the next figure. Next figure here is, who we got? Oh, the Space Policeman. Looks like I'm on a roll, guys. I am on a roll. Got the Space, the space Policeman. Put his torso together here for you. He's got white gloves on. There's the Space Emblem. And it looks like he's got some type of little badge or insignia there. All right. Here's the head for him. Dual molded face. He's got a happy face and he's got a angry face. Oh, put him on wrong. Let's put his pads on. Let's gear, gear him up. It's got a nice space mold on that, on that armor. There's the helmet with a star and a shield. Take a look at the back side of that. It's got two places where you can hold some gear. Looks like you can hold your handcuffs there. This is a nice figure. I may have to get more of these. You can hold your space baton in the back there as well. Yeah, that is a nice looking figure. Uh, one of the, uh, another YouTuber by the name of Fazoom loves space figures. And this one may pull me back over into the uh, space area, not back into because I was never really a space guy, but it may pull me into space. He's got a riot shield, he is nice. And he also has a pistol. 
Lego doesn't like to do weapons, but they always make the exception for this, this weapon. But that's a nice looking figure. Love it. The next figure, who's it gonna be? Let's move these two guys back. The next figure is the castaway. Now this guy, I really want it pretty badly. Uh, it's just an all around great figure. This is, Lego just really showed its its creativity and artistry. And this one, if you ask me, you got the castaway body there with a shell as his necklace. And then here's his face. He's starting to grow. He got his, got his face here with a beard. You can see the necklace and his shell that he has. Let's take a look at the back. Got some scuff marks on him and his trousers. His trousers are tattered. Looks like he's been a castaway for a while now. And when we put his headgear on, that's that same, um, I think it was used for this Stone Age guy, but I know it was used in the uh, downtown city set in the museum. The prehistoric caveman used that hairdress. All right, and then we also have a note in a bottle that you can write a message and then put it off to sea for someone to hopefully find that bottle with the message on it. So there it is, message in a bottle and the castaway guy, but that's not it. The star of the show it's got to be the hermit crab. Look at that. That guy is really neat. And so I think I got two of them. It uses the same poop uh, topper that came with the pets, but they put it in the white molding. A topper right there that's also used in the uh, Ninjago City Garden set in the ice cream shop. But look at that. That is a nice figure and hermit crab. Love it. Came with an extra shell. But one, two, three, four. I only needed one, two, three. I only needed four. And here is the next one. And I think I got them all because I really, truly believe this is the centaur. I really do. The female centaur. If you all recall, the Harry Potter's Forbidden Forest had two male centaurs in it. And I'm eventually going to have to pick that up because it's a really nice figure. You can see that this figure came with a bag inside the bag holding all the accessories. So let's get that open. Here is the lower half of the, the body with the tail. Looks pretty nice. Here's the figure's body. Molding on the side of the arms. Not much of molding. Not much in the way of molding on the back of it. You can kind of see it there. Okay. Next, she's got the, comes with this quiver full of arrows that you can put right there on the side. It'd probably be best. To, yeah, we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. And here is her face, happy face, and a confident face, I would say. Happy face, confident face, happy face. Okay. And here is her hair. Is her with the hair? She also comes with a bow and arrow. There's the bow and arrow. 
The bottom of the horse has three anti-studs to connect at three points. And finally, she came with an apple. One apple and a figure. So there you have it, folks. That is all of the Lego Collectible Minifigure Series 21. We got all 12.